Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I want to discuss another cable option that I'm about to make available for the G540 that I think is really going to solve a lot of the issues with, you know, not having a specific cable option for your particular application. Um, I'm real proud to say that now in my store I offer a diff different variable uh, configurations for whatever you're trying to complete, whether it be a full-scale machine build as far as starting from the ground up, or if you're doing a retrofit from China, which as we know, China usually will incorporate on a 60, 40, 30, 20, you know, 80, 20 chassis, you usually get those cable chains that are already pre-made, they don't break down, and they're not real user-friendly to work with. Um, and that being said, I designed the Pro Sodalus motor cable, which basically has two DB9 uh, terminal blocks on each end, and then you have the 18-4 cable that you simply slide the cable through the, the actual cable chain and then assemble your DB9 terminal blocks on each end. This way, you get the best of both worlds. You get a very nice cable for the G540, and on top of that, you're getting a Sodalus connector on each end, making the process very quick. However, there are guys out there that do have access or have purchased a cable chain that does completely break down or they're doing a mill retrofit like a Grizzly and want to use pre-made molded motor cables. Well, that being said, I took it upon myself to sit down and design these and it's taken me quite some time um, for a couple reasons for the durability factor and also um, to get it within everyone's budget because I've seen motor cables that the pricing is just kind of ridiculous and I wanted to make it available so that everyone could really afford these and that's what I came up with right here. These cables just to start on some of the details of what they provide you've got a 300 volt uh, insulation rating 80 degrees Celsius uh, very very heavy duty these will easily support full-scale RS232 type uh, machines that being said they do support 20 AWG uh, leads internally very very durable cable yet extremely flexible I decided to go with a actual signal cable guys and for those of you who don't know what that is um, it's used in the industrial industry usually for automation it's a very very flexible type cabling um, and again going with the 20 AWG and going with the molded cable I wanted to make it a universal cable um, a lot of cables out there actually have um, the resistor actually in the cable that only support a certain type of motor. I did not want to do that. I wanted to make a universal cable that you, the end user, could support with the G540 on any motor available for your particular application, and that's what I've achieved here. Uh, as far as actually configuring your motors, what you would do is basically pick which solderless connector you want to go with. You can go with a pro solderless connector, which again is a DB9 with a terminal block. You would just actually take your, your motors, put, the, put in the wiring into it, and you're good. Or you can go with a general solderless connector, which comes with my bracket, which again is in my store as well. And you can go through that option as well and just make the motor plug and play that way. It's really up to you. And best of all, again, you've got a lot of different cable versatility options. When you're assembling your machine, you're going to run into a lot of questions, and I'm hoping to solve them as you run into them. And again, this cable, uh, one of the big things also is lengths. I get asked about cable length all the time. I have a guy that, you know, typically I don't need, you know, 20 feet, but I don't really need 15. I need a little longer than 10 foot. These cables I made 13 foot. Just to give you that little bit of an edge, uh, you can connect two of these um, to actually go longer if you require to. Um, if you were going to go much longer than two, I would definitely recommend stepping up to the 18 gauge uh, Pro Sodalus cable. And the main reason I would is because you'll get some voltage drop off the longer we go. Um, not, not a huge amount, but again, the longer you go, it will become more substantial, so that's something to think about. As far as everything else, though, you can see that the connectors are gold-plated, um, and again, super, super high quality, guys. I wanted you guys to have the best. Um, my boxes now will all come, if you're buying a pre-made controller from me, they're all going to come standard with these cables. Now, I'm not going to lie, I wanted to update the cables, and therefore, I do have to update the price a little bit. The box price will be going up by about $40 to encompass these cables. However, if you do the math and you're getting three of these at 13 foot in length and 20 gauge, it's still uh, probably the cheapest deal you're going to find online for what you're getting in quality. I can guarantee you that because these are industrial grade. Um, again, if you guys do have any questions for your particular application, I recommend you ask me first. 
don't purchase before asking because there's no point in buying something you may not require um, we can go over you know exactly your application and I can tell you exactly which one I would recommend if you do purchase my controller and these don't fit your application we can always swap them out you know I, I, I really haven't done a real a really exclusive video on motor cables but I try to work with all my clients because I know every application is different a guy who's retrofitting a Grizzly is not a guy who's retrofitting a Sherlene or a 6040 Chinese chassis so each application is individual but I want you guys to have the best possible performance out of your system and I want you to do it with the right amount of money invested that's logical and when I say that you know motor cables are critical they are carrying your step and direction signals they are carrying the voltages to the motor they need to be done correctly and these are I mean these are definitely the next step up in evolution to what now is available you can go with the 18.4 pro solderless you can go with my 18.4 uh, soldered cables I'm probably going to discontinue the soldered cables because honestly there's no real need when you have these um, again the difference going from an 18 to a 20 gauge wire it's not significant enough to where you're going to see a huge benefit unless you're going past two of these cables which again be 26 feet in length that's something you'll you'll want to think about um, as far as which way you want to go however like I said now your options are pretty much endless in what's available for your particular system and I'm hoping to hear from you guys on as far as whatever I can do to help you succeed in, in designing that ultimate system for what you need and, the, and providing the ultimate cabling essentially so once again um, if you guys need anything please let me know I plan on doing some more videos on some more um, products that will be coming out shortly um, and other than that thank you again take care